Bridging Privacy Cultures is, is, is the theme, or at least part of the title of this uh, conference. And I often think that part of the complexity uh, for those coming outside Europe is, is this complexity of structures we, we have. So we, we almost have a, have a culture of complexity uh, here within the European Union, or within, within Europe, because we have at the moment, three different instruments, actually, which are either under discussion or about to be discussed. Uh, the General Data Protection Regulation, which I'm going to focus on this morning to replace the Data Protection Directive of 1995. Now, this is a, a proposal which must be co-decided with the European Parliament. So while we are wrestling with this very complex uh, proposal in the Council Working Group, a similar exercise is taking place in the European Parliament. And while we operate, as it were, behind closed doors, the European Parliament operates in the full glare of publicity. So we all know about all of these amendments which have been uh, tabled in the European Parliament. But ultimately, the presidency representing the Council and the rapporteur, who is the lead member of the European Parliament with responsibility for the proposal, will meet and try to work out uh, a compromise between the uh, Council and the European Parliament. So the work that we have been doing in the Council is half the story. When the Council has done its work, then there is a completely new process of rapprochement, as it were, between the Council and the European Parliament. And I will focus on this shortly. But we also have a directive on data protection in the, in the context of criminal law and criminal penalties to replace a, a framework decision from 2008. This, too, is subject to co-decision with the European Parliament. Now, this is lagging behind. Work on the directive is lagging behind work on the regulation because the regulation cont contains all the general rules or at least will contain the general rules and the directive then will contain some exemptions and derogations for that specific field of activity, law enforcement. And we shouldn't forget uh, that uh, an exercise to update the Council of Europe's Data Protection Convention, Convention 108, is also underway. And uh, we shouldn't forget the important contribution which the Council of Europe has made to the whole area of data protection, in fact, taking the lead with Convention 108 back in 1981. And the time has come now to update uh, that convention. And the European Commission has been given a mandate now by the member states uh, to represent uh, 28 member states. We have 28 member states since, since yesterday with, with Croatia's uh, accession. The presidency approach before we started work back in January, obviously we had given some thought, how are we going to handle this very complex file? These were the considerations which we brought to bear. First of all, we underlined the bigger picture. It's easy to forget that data protection is part of a bigger picture because, of course, the protection of personal data is a fundamental right in its own right, but it's also part of a bigger picture. And for us as presidency, we always underlined the link between data protection and the digital economy. And I think this is something that Lord McNally spoke about a short time ago. We need to have citizen trust and confidence in the digital economy if we are to exploit to the full uh, the innovation capacity, uh, the growth potential and the jobs potential. So this was something in the presidency program uh, from the very outset, that data protection was part of this bigger picture. We wanted to ensure that progress was made at both political and expert level. And this is something also that Lord McNally referred to. I think data protection is too important to be left to data protection experts. <laughs> it's, it's really important. To this audience. <laughs> it's really important. I, of course, we're all experts, or many of us are experts here, but the politicians take the decisions, and it's very important to involve the politicians in this process from the very outset. So we had uh, already a discussion in January. Uh, the informal meeting of justice ministers in Dublin in January already discussed uh, a number of issues, important issues within the data protection, uh, pr proposed data protection regulation. So we introduced uh, the ministers from the very outset to some of the rather difficult issues which are in the, in the proposal. Our objective was to have a high quality and user friendly text. And it has to be a high quality, but it also has to be user friendly so that those who need to exercise their rights 
or those who wish to discharge their obligations can understand what the requirements are. Uh, this requires clear language, it requires practical rules, and it requires appropriate burdens and, and compliance costs. 